One of nature's furies, storms feature imposing waves battle between man and nature as ferocious winds and turbulent waters storms crash into the open sea taking everything with them, container ships stand tall as modern engineering marvels. These mighty ships can withstand wave heights of up to 36 feet thanks to their robust hulls and expertly designed structures, which allow them to navigate perilous waters. Compared to other vessels like those for solid bulk and hydrocarbons, they are double-bottomed and have finer designs. Its low coefficient of buoyancy, which is between 0.6 and 0.7, reduces hull resistance and boosts speed to up to 24 knots. Modern container ship designers created an almost rectangular-shaped hull with a longitudinally framed design and a high midship coefficient ranging from 0.75 to 0. To accommodate maximum below-deck container capacity. Thank you for your meticulous planning at an early stage, every aspect of these enormous structures is strengthened with a torsion box and high-scaling web sections that create box-like structures at each frame, 85 and ship designers test the completed design before beginning construction. In this phase, probabilities pertaining to the design are carefully calculated. For instance, modeling techniques are used by research institutes like Marin to simulate real-life incidents and develop conclusions for future design improvements. When simulating the MCS Zoo incident, the researcher recreates real-world conditions like wind currents, wave heights, and water depths for precise analysis. While container ships are generally stable, the analysis showed that under certain extreme weather conditions, lashing failures caused by amplified vibrations and high waves can result in container loss abroad. The University of Iowa has been using simulation-based design using a more complex simulation was made possible by the combination of modeling techniques, advanced wave basins with a wave maker and a carriage that follows the model ship to take measurements, as well as inputs and data gathered over the previous years. Construction on the ship begins in the shipyard after rigorous testing and approval of the ship design, everything here is mammoth just like the ships built here. Iowa now anticipates the required input for rudders and propellers to ensure a specific trajectory. Large steel sheets are cut, sized, and shaped under great pressure to form the structure's sections. The plates are then welded together to form sub-assemblies, which are then put together to form larger assemblies. The pieces are painted and given an exterior protective coating before being lifted to a dry dock where they are welded together to form the ship's structure and install interior components. Sand casting is used to make components like rudders and propellers. Since calm water is easy to sail in, rough marine weather requires a combination of cutting-edge technology, sophisticated equipment, and highly skilled personnel. Once formed, these parts are assembled within the ship, and the entire process means the ship will succeed in her Alpha Sea trail and start shipping abroad trained personnel. Being aware of the procedures and the steps to handle emergency situations is essential for a seafarer. Thorough training is conducted to ensure that everyone is aware of what to do on board, but some maritime players, such as ship owners and ports, have developed computer-based simulation centers also known as marine simulators to improve training and safety simulators. Allowing crew members to practice different scenarios and response techniques without taking any risks in the real world. It is a secure and affordable alternative that eliminates the need for actual vessels and resources because the system replicates all metrics, including weather, sea states, and vessel dynamics, giving users realistic experiences and thorough evaluations of vessel performance, crew competency, and emergency procedures. The training for rough seas in the full bridge is a crucial simulation exercise. Through simulated scenarios, the mission simulator exercise recreates a demanding work environment. Through simulated scenarios, the simulation offers a realistic platform for practicing ship handling techniques like maneuvering in high waves and strong winds as well as bridge resources management, or BRM. Crews experience the difficulties of navigating in choppy waters. Crews learn to effectively communicate, collaborate, and make important decisions as they navigate large container ships and choppy waters. The container ship crew must prepare for this scenario in order to arrive at their destination safely. The Royal National Lifeboat Institution, also known as ERLI, developed a comprehensive program to train crews to operate these vessels effectively in adverse weather conditions. Lifeboat crews and salvers must be prepared to evacuate people and engage in rescue operations when necessary. The crew receives training that includes a real-world simulation for launch and recovery. Swerving or rough the oceans and helping people in need while adhering to safety standards, crews learn to navigate through high waves, strong currents, and bad weather. 
In order to provide situational awareness and prevent maritime accidents, today's vessels are outfitted with advanced weather systems. These systems use satellites, weather radars, and weather watch boxes. These advanced systems provide real-time meteorological data, including wind speed, wave height, temperature, and barometric pressure. The crew can anticipate potential hazards and make wise decisions thanks to the data's frequent updates, ensuring the safety of their vessel's crew and cargo weather systems. Provide early warnings of approaching storms so that the crew can quickly decide whether to alter the vessel's course, increase its speed, or seek shelter. A floating instrument, on the other hand, greatly increases the risk of accidents brought on by storms by reducing the risk of collisions, groundings, or capsizing through proactive measures. Platform or Flip is a unique ship that can vertically flip from a horizontal to a vertical position with its research facilities remaining upright and approximately 90% of the hull submerged underwater. This transformative capability allows Flip to withstand choppy sea conditions while providing a stable platform for scientific research when in its vertical position. To keep things stable its design guarantees that measurements will be disturbed as little as possible, making it an invaluable tool for research in turbulent ocean regions. The conversion of weather ships into research vessels and the special capabilities of FLIP highlight the ongoing pursuit of scientific knowledge and the quest to comprehend the intricate dynamics of the maritime environment. These facts, along with innovations in ship design, training programs, and the integration of cutting-edge technology, mean that the maritime industry is capable of navigating the unpredictable forces of nature and ensuring the safety of the vessel, crew, and environment.